ride video not seen on this channel, the mounts of my old floorboards broke off. Therefore, the floorboards and the mounts had to be replaced. What you are seeing now is the first ride with the brand new floorboards. From JNP Cycles, that's jpcycles.com. These are the JNP Cycles rectangular shaker floorboards for Harleys from 1980 to 2024. The shaker floorboards are made of stamped steel and with rubber inserts and a stainless steel grid. This is a high quality stock replacement for crash damage or worn out pieces. The D-shaped floorboard floorboards feature floating upper plates with anti-vibration rubbers for comfort. But let me just say I was surprised by the floating design of the floorboards off of the steel plates. But when I go from my cruise mounts to my floorboards, I could easily tell that these are anti-vibrating shock absorbers to put less stress on the knees and the legs. And during this first ride, I was easily impressed by how comfortable they were and how comfortable they made my legs feel every time I would go from my cruise bars to my floorboards. Even though my floorboards did not break, it was the mounts that broke. I still wanted to go ahead and replace the floorboards with brand new floorboards because I wanted to. But now let's talk about the mounts. The actual uh, framework that attaches to the main frame and holds up the floorboards. The mounts for the floorboards are V-Twin MFG 2-inch extended length floorboard mounting kit for Harley Touring models from 1983 to 2008. Again, on jpcycles.com. They are available in black or chrome finish. I chose black finish. Two-inch forward version. It comes complete with the mounting brackets and all the hardware necessary to install on the bike, including nuts, bolts, and washers. Altogether, the parts for the mounts and the floorboards ran about $250. That does not include shipping. Although, if I recall correctly, shipping was free. Now, let me preface this by saying that I'm not a certified Harley mechanic by any means at all. But when I first took apart the mounts and the floorboards, I was pleasantly surprised about how simplistic the design was. And I thought I had enough confidence to install them. The entire installation process of the new parts took me about three hours. Now to a well-versed mechanic, that probably could have been done in about an hour. But again, I'm just talking about installation. I'm not talking about uninstalling the old parts. That took me about two hours as well. I guess the point I'm trying to make in me saying that is that if a guy like me who has a basic mechanical understanding, even if it's not entirely about motorcycles, should be able to figure out how to uninstall and install mounts and floorboards. But again, you know yourself better than I do. So work on your bike at your own risk. One of the first things I noticed as I was riding with these new floorboards is how much closer the transmission switch and the rear brake pedal were closer to my foot. Therefore, it may be necessary for me to get a 
adjustments on my brake lever and my transmission switch lever. If you're a biker and you have any suggestions, then please by all means let me know. Thank you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride.